Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you, particularly as we're still in your birthday month. And if it is your birthday, happy birthday to you. I hope it's lovely. I hope it's fabulous. I hope it's... I just hope it represents you. Yeah? Spirit, show me what I need to see, please, for Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please, for Sagittarius. You know, I have to tell you... I want to say something interesting and lovely for you. I swear, I've just been getting nothing but difficult energy for Sagittarius. I'm like, what's up with that? Show me what I need to see, please, for Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please, for Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius, please? Okay, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for Sag? Take what resonates. If it does not, if it's not your story, don't force it to fit. Okay. Sometimes I get rainbows, but not the unicorns. Okay. But yeah, you know, you can't have the rainbows without the storms, yeah? It's part of life. So, let's see here. Oh, see, as I said, five of cups. If that's in the past position, hopefully it stays this way, yeah? It's back there. I want it to stay that way, yeah? But uh, regret, loss, emotional deprivation, not feeling it, okay? What else, please? What else, please, is going on? What else, please, is going on? Do let me know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Five of Cups is actually Scorpio's card. Could be one of the fellow water signs, but this just rest, kind of represents where you are emotionally speaking, okay? Whatever it is you experienced, I hope you have healed from it. What else, please? What else, please? A King of Pentacles. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Loss of stability. Now, it could be that you feel an emotional loss or an emotional disconnection to a king of pentacles. Okay, someone who embraces this kind of idea of stability and long-term structure and care. Okay, let me know if you're connecting with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, respectively. Some of you just simply aren't feeling it. If you experienced, by the way, financial difficulties or financial loss, I am sorry. That could very well be true for some of you, you know. Career and finances, they pop up all the time because life is messy like that. So if you, some of you have recently experienced financial insecurity, I'm sorry. Okay. What else, please? What else, please? Let's keep going. What's going on here? Some of you are just feeling detached from your partner. Okay. The magician. The manifestation of something new. Hopefully you're putting that good energy to use, yeah? He got out of, hopefully, that Five of Cups state. I'll know more upon clarification. But hopefully we got out of that Five of Cups state. And uh, you went out of your fire and into an earth energy in order to re-stabilize. Right? So if you experienced emotional destabilization, some of you went into a King of Pentacles mentality to kind of pull that together, contain it. Okay? To feel secure again. And you're manifesting something new. Hopefully it's something strong and something that serves you. Let's keep going. Let's find out. What's currently going on for Sag, please? What's currently going on for Sag, please? What's currently going on for Sagittarius, please? Yes. Knight of Cups. The dreamy knight. The romantic knight. Sending out love messages. What else, please? What else, please? Could be aimed at you as well. What else, please? What else is currently going on for Sag? What else is currently going on for Sag, please? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ten of Cups. Oh, my ass. The potential for something new. Oh yes, it's quite powerful too. I don't think it's a rediscovery of love. It could be. Especially if some of you experienced emotional upset with a partner. The world. Ah oh, yes. Time for a new chapter to open in love. Mm-hmm. Now for those of you who are in commitments and you're determined to make it work, determined to make it work, which, I have to be honest with you, the world being there, that's a possibility, but that means you've done that with this partner before. Kind of like that forgiving state. Okay, I'm determined to make this work. I'm determined to reapproach my commitment, my Ten of Cups, with a new, fresh perspective of love and romance. Okay, that means you, and if that's true, the world is here. That means you two have gone around this loop a couple times. Okay. I don't know what upset you in the past, honey. But um, it looks like you kind of willed yourself out of it. I'm going to restabilize myself. I'm going to get out of this period of loss and remorse and regret and the apologies. And I'm manifesting something strong and new. Or, again, reconfirming to your Ten of Cups. We can do this. I can feel love in this relationship again. Which tells me you've done this before. I hope you're not on a repeating loop cycle. I guess is my point. But for some of you, that's true. Let's keep going. 
Show me that future, please. Show me that future, please. Show me that future, please, for Sagittarius. Show me that future, please, for Sagittarius. What's going on? Show me that future, please. What's going on for future? What's going on for future? Show me the mm, blockage. Show me the future, please, for Sag. Something's trying to come through here. Dude, seriously, what's going on? Show me that future, please. Page of Swords. Mm. Distrust. Distrust or turning your back on something. What? What the hell happened here? Show me that future, please. Show me that future, please. Page of Cups. Page for page energy. What? What's going on? Show me that future, please. I want something a little stronger. Determined to work on it. Okay. I'm telling you, some of you are on repeating cycles with a partner. I do. Some of you might have closed that chapter. I'll know more upon clarification, and you're determined to start a new one. Like, no more chances for this Ten of Cups. Sure. And it could be that you start something new and tentative in the future. I do see, I'm not going to lie, I'm seeing a, dis a distrust here. I, I do see a distrust. While you're determined to work on this thing, the Page of Cups, kind of like starting over, clean slate, I do feel that there's an element of distrust here. Despite the determination to start over again or try to make it work. Let's keep going. Let's clarify this. Hopefully... I don't know. I don't know. I see an absolute determination in you to begin again with this person. It tells me you've done this before with this person. It tells me you've done it before. And you're working on it, but the effort seems small. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Sag. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Sagittarius. What's going on here? Let's do one more. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Sag. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Sagittarius. Show me this Five of Cups. What's this about? What's that Five of Cups about, please? What's that Five of Cups about, please? What's that Five of Cups about, please? Three of Pentacles, trying to make something work. Trying to make something work, or there is regret, remorse, loss about something not being able to work. There's a determination in you here. Show me what else, please. What else about that Three of Pentacles? Why is that here? Why is that here, please? Show me that. Okay. Fighting. Fighting. Trying to make something to work. It's not coming together. You and your partner are fighting, or at least that's what it looks like in the past. There might have been a third-party situation where either you or your person was flirting with an outside energy. They might have expressed the regret, their loss, the remorse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did this. It led to fights. Five of Wands, like you were on the brink of separation, quite possibly. I don't know. But it, even if there isn't a third-party thing going on here, it's simply... Your relationship did not feel like it was coming together. It felt like work. It felt like you two were constantly starting over. You know, I can't get this right. I can't make this right. I'm trying to make this correct. Trying to make it right. A struggle in you. A struggle in you. Show me that King of Pentacles, please. Show me that King of Pentacles, please. It could literally have to do with coin. You might have been fighting about coin with your partner as well. Four cups in the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there was absolutely disharmony here. You two might have separated, possibly, for how long, I do not know. And somebody's like, I need to get my shit together. You need to get your shit together, something like that. This kind of um, passive acceptance of the emotionality between you two. You were comfortable in each other's energy, but was it sustaining? Was it worth fighting for? The Nine of Pentacles, should we go our own separate ways? Somebody felt like a king in the kingdom where they were alone. Okay, not necessarily that you two were separated. You might have gone through a separation period, absolutely. But still technically together. You might have taken a break. Backed off in your respective corners to work this shit out. How do we really feel about each other? That kind of thing. Show me the magician, please. Show me the magician, please. And some of you did fully separate. Others of you, 
you just backed off into your own corners until you could figure this shit out. Show me the magician, please. Show me the... Okay. The emperor taking charge. Okay. Card of Aries, respectively. Your fire cousin. Looking back on this, I know what I want. I know what it is that I want. What does the emperor want? What does the emperor want? Show me what the emperor wants, please. They want to feel emotionally secure again, the king of cups. Mm -hmm. They want to feel emotionally secure again. You want to feel emotionally secure again. So looking back on it, looking back on all this, everything that was said and done, God, there was a struggle here, wanting to make things work with your partner, but it seems so self-defeating. There's a sense of security here that's attached to all this, okay? Somebody's boundaries, sense of space, etc., I'm telling you, some of you had to separate. Even if you were physically together in the same household, I swear you two went through a retreat period. Like, you stay in your corner, I'm going to stay in my corner. Um, they had to figure out the feelings, the sincerity of this. Somebody contemplated being single, okay? And I feel like you declared, okay, I, I, I do feel like you declared, we're going to make this thing work. After you took some space or distance apart, we're going to make this work. I still love you. I want to take charge of this. I'm going to manifest this. I want to manifest this new direction with you. I'm determined to make this thing work. Okay. I'm telling you, even if you shared the same household together, you both took a time out. You took a time out from the fighting. You took a time out trying to make this work. The fights, everything. The Six of Cups, you two have been together a minute. Yes? And this is what's a big driving motivation for you to stay together. I'm telling you, this is a repeating cycle. So that tells me you two have done this before. Show me that Knight of Cups, please. Show me the Knight of Cups, please. Show me the Knight of Cups, please. That was the decision to be made, to stay together, clearly. You two decided to stay together, yes? The Two of Wands, it was a mutual decision, okay? It was a mutual decision. Somebody had to contemplate if this is worth to continue staying into, if all we're going to do is fight or having repeating behaviors and patterns. There could be a coin element in that's not helping things. Okay, that could be adding to the tension of your relationship, respectively. Okay, some of that Ten of Cups, but I do see you determined to move forward and forge ahead in what looks like a pre-existing commitment, uh, be it marriage or otherwise, I do not know. Show me that Ten of Cups, please. Show me that Ten of Cups, please. Show me that Ten of Cups, please. Why is that here for Saj? Somebody is still emotionally dis distant despite putting on their brave face. Okay, the Eight of Cups. <sighs> and I think you're still trying to work your feeling back up, I think. Okay, just because you had the determination to make this work and you know that you still love this person, and you do, you still very much love this person. They're with you. The time together, it's not just the money. It's also the time and memories and emotionality spent together. You don't want to lose it, but there's still kind of an absence. Your, your Eight of Cups, you're trying to get back to a state of ten. You see what I'm saying? Eight of Cups under the, the Ten of Cups, or over the Ten of Cups, I should say. This is your goal, and you're moving towards it diligently. I believe your partner is too. But there is still a, kind of like a couple of cups got knocked off in the process, right? So in other words, you're trying to learn to love this person to that full capacity once more. Show me the world. Let's see if it sticks. I feel like you two have done this before. I feel like you two have done this before. There's, see, you don't want to think about the heartbreak anymore, the hanged man. Typically, an invitation to new perspective. I feel like the shadow of your heartbreak is still behind us. The world, in other words, you two have done this before. You know, like uh, water particles. That's what water is. Water breaks away, comes back together, breaks away, comes back together. You two have done this before, okay? Um, that would explain in the future where there's still a distrust element. There's still a distrust. It's tentative, but there's still a distrust here. You two have done this before. Okay. Let's switch up that energy, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Oh, <laughs> it's interesting. Very interesting. That's an interesting split. Interesting. Hmm. Show me that, uh... Show me that future, please, for Sagittarius. I don't know if at some point you choose to break the pattern. I, I see the strength of your emotional conviction. I do. It's not just about coin. I don't think the coin situation might be helping either. Okay. 
Um, that might be an underlying tension, but that's not the main show. The main show is the emotionality here. Okay, you want to, it's like you're determined, I'm going to determine to stop thinking about the heartbreak. I'm going to choose to see my partner in this loving light with the cups. I feel like you two have done this before. Or at the very least, reoccurring arguments. Show me that page of swords, please. I, I don't, are you watching your partner? Trying to see if their emotionality has taken, if changes have, or positive changes have occurred. Show me that page of swords, please. Show me that page of swords, please, for Sagittarius's future. Show me that page of swords, please. Show me that page of swords. What's going on there? <clears throat> Strength. The hermit. Oh my, lots of power energy. The moon. See, you haven't, you haven't totally let this go. I see a Sagittarius who is trying to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, as it were, about this relationship. Yes, you still love this person. Yes, they still love you. Yes, your cups got knocked down a bit, but you're determined to work on it with this person. Okay. But you've also, unfortunately, you're trying not to bring up old shit. You know what I mean? You're trying not to. You're trying not to. You are determined to stop thinking about or hanging back in that heart space or broken heart space energy. Okay. But the world, you too have done this before. And here's the thing, honey. In the future, you are t willing. The strength, the hermit, the moon. Here's the thing. The five of swords over the moon, not great. Not great. In your heart of hearts, you're still kind of watching and waiting for your partner to fuck up. I don't feel like you fully trust them. You're trying, though. You're trying. You're trying to think the best. You really are trying to, you are trying to do the best. I feel like you're watching your partner. I don't know how else to put it, honey. I do real tarot. You're, you're watching your partner. Yeah, I don't think you're fully convinced that they've changed or uh, that their cups are where they should be. There's a distrust here, but you're... I feel like I'm looking at a Sag who's of two minds, you know? I understand this is the correct thing to do. Be strong, okay? But at the same time, you're actively watching your partner because you haven't fully... You haven't fully, you don't fully trust them. You don't fully trust them. I feel like some of you are just watching your partners like a hawk. Are they still keeping secrets? Are there things they're not telling me about the money? Is there a thing they're not, if there was a third party here, is that completely done? I don't know. I don't know. You know that, uh, I feel like you're a Sagittarius that's on the side of right, but it's still the Five of Swords, man. You might be the sore winner, but you still feel like in your mind you can't fully trust this person, but I see at the same time that you very much want to. But you're watching like a hawk, man. You're watching your partner like a hawk. Um, I, in other words, you don't fully trust them. Okay. Is that page of cups, the apology sincere? Show me that page of cups, please. Show me the page of cups. Let's find out. Show me that page of cups, honey. <clears throat> it seems to be sincere. But you also seem to be afraid at the same time that their energy is in and out. The Knight of Wands could be yours. <sighs> could be yours. What else about that Knight of Wands, please? What else about that Knight of Wands, please? You two aren't. <sighs> oh my god, so much energy here. So many thoughts, so much conflicting emotions, so many conflicting thoughts. This person seems to have the best intentions of moving things forward. They want you. The King of Cups is now here twice. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, respectively. They also want to move forward with you. The apology seems to be sincere. I do believe that there's a concern in the back of your mind that um, it won't stick. It looks pretty sincere to me. It does. There's a passion in your person or in yourself to move things forward. I do believe. Hopefully you get out of this place of feeling the need to watch them. Can I trust them? Um, with enough proof, with enough action, that kind of thing. I do believe that they are doing their best to reassure you that all is well and that they're working hard on it. I do. You know? I do. But there's a distrustful element here. There's a distrustful element here. I think you need to get back with your comfort level with your partner. Two of Cups over the Three of Coins. See, I see you two working on your commitment. The Two of Cups over the Three of Coins. I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I do. 
It, it does. It's just, it's looking like there's some time. Now, honestly, I'm surprised I haven't seen your card yet. I would feel a lot better if I saw your card. Let's, let it, what else plays about that Two of Cups? What else plays about that Two of Cups? Mm -mm. What else about that Two of Cups, please? Anything else? The Knave of Chalices. I do believe that there's a case here that you or your partner, somebody has a very difficult time expressing their emotions, like truly, well and truly, they do. Well and truly, they do. I'm hearing very distinctly they want you back, or you want them back. Somebody wants the other person back. I don't know. I am insisting that some of you went through a separation period. And you don't know if you can bring it together or that you even want to. And that would explain why you're watching them so hard. Because you're trying to get the strength to do what is in your mind the right thing. But at the same time, you don't know if you can trust this person. I do believe your partner is making very sincere efforts to show you their love. To show you the fire. They're determined to work on this with you. Be it money motivated or what else. Okay, but the love here is genuine. It seems to be true. Okay, but they still struggle with it. I think you still kind of, I think you yourself are also struggling with your love for this person, accepting it. Okay, it's hard. It's hard to have love for somebody and distrust simultaneously. Do you think those two facts wouldn't coexist at the same time? But they do. You very much love your partner, but you also feel like you can't quite fully trust them or if they've revealed the full extent of their thoughts to you. I do see them making sincere efforts to get you back. I do. Um, but there is a struggle element here. I, they very much want to express their love to you. They want to make this work. They want that two of cup over the three of coin. Yeah. They hate this. They hate this. It's tricky. It's a tricky... They want to talk to you. I feel like that they're watching you too. And it's a struggle for them. It's a struggle for them. They seem to have a very hard time understanding how to communicate with you in a way that's effective. But the sincerity of their efforts are real. I don't know what happened here. I don't know what happened here, but um, I don't think you two are done, to be perfectly honest. I don't. I see the hint of endings with the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands. But uh, I also don't think it's done yet. I really don't. I'm not seeing full ending cards either. I'm not seeing full ending cards either. I don't think this is done, Sag. Whoever this person is that is speaking to you, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. I don't think you want it to be. I don't. But you also seem to have a hard time letting this go, whatever this was. Whatever it was that kicked off all the arguments and the fighting and the, and the pain, you two have done this before. And that's what it looks like to me. And uh, it's kind of like, is, that, is this how it's always going to be? Am I always going to have these feelings of distrust for you? Are my feelings the same for you anymore? I do believe this person is trying to show you their best sincere efforts at getting you back. They're talking, they're doing the communication, they're doing the passion, they're doing the feeling. They're making visible efforts to move towards you. And while you do not deny that you have love for this person, you still seem to struggle with this concept of trust. Okay, it's kind of like on a repeating loop for you at this point in the future. Again, I'm telling you, you've done this with this, be with this person before. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Any advice, please? Any additional advice, please? I was hoping to see a little something magnificent for you during your birthday month. This is looking pretty severe. What you will do, I do not know, but I do know this. Your love for them is real, but then so is your your distrust for this person. You haven't fully forgiven them. To, uh, forgiven them. You want to. I see you fighting yourself over here while you're watching them. You want to trust this person again. You want to love them again. Okay? You also have a great deal of pride. So if your pride is true, so is your love for this person. Okay? Because, honey, if you really wanted to end things, you would. I have not... I, I'm not seeing a side who's ended things. Not... No. No. Um, I think you also struggle with your own feelings here. You do. It's not just you. It's also them. Ask for help from others. If you're keeping this to yourself, don't. You're only hurting yourself. Okay? 
If you need help, ask for it, please. Um, what else, please? Any additional Oracle messages? Let go. Mm. Let's see. Like I said, you two have done this before, and I'm... I see a side who's not completely prepared to let this person go. Okay. You still very much love this person, but at the same time, what does that mean if you can't trust them? Yeah. Mm. Sagittarius, I hope this was helpful to you. Okay. Comment as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. Next week are the career and finance videos. Take care. Be well.